Hello guys, it's Rack. Welcome back to another video, man. So today we're gonna to talk about um, Bayern Munich versus Liverpool, man. The Champions League uh, run of 16, uh, second leg, man. This game ended in a 3-1 uh, win for Liverpool, man. Liverpool, great performance, man. Great game, uh, by the way, man. Very, very exciting game, man. Went back and forth, man. All goals were scored by Liverpool players, man. Uh, even Bayern Munich on goal, man. So Bayern Munich was poor. Uh, me personally, I don't think um, Nico Kovac uh, is not the right coach right now for um, Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich definitely need a better coach. Uh, but Liverpool right now is being coached by Jurgen Klopp. Jurgen Klopp is a very good coach, man. Winning the Champions League is a different story. I think Liverpool might go to the semi final. Depends on who they play next. But um, I, Jurgen Klopp, man, he always flop for me. He always flop. I like him, but he always flop in, in, uh, in finals, man. But you never know, man. This could be a Liverpool year. No pun intended, but uh, great game, man. Mane is a baller. Something I learned from this game. Mane is a baller. I think he's mainly um, underrated, especially because of uh, Salah Mohamed, Salah president at Liverpool. The season that he had last year was phenomenal. So uh, everybody, all eyes going to be a moment. Uh, uh, Mohamed Salah, man. Salah did have an assist in the games, um, assist in the third goal for uh, Salah Mane. That's a, uh, third goal for Liverpool. Uh, Salah Mane, second goal, great headed by Salah Mane. And uh, great defensive display by Liverpool, man. Liverpool, uh, that uh, what I've noticed about Liverpool this year, man. Defensively, they are very, very good, man. especially with uh, Van Dijk, man. Van Dijk should be up there competing for like play of the year, man. <laughs> Battle or something like that, man. He's phenomenal. He is phenomenal. He had a great game today, a goal and an assist, man. So my God, he was spectacular, man. So shout out to uh, Van Dijk. Uh, I, um, Allison didn't have to do too much in goal, man. But yo, Neuer, man, what happened to Neuer? Neuer was was trash. Neuer was trash, bro. Like the first goal was because Neuer fought, man. He, he rushed out. He rushed out. Uh, pretty much, uh, Sane, uh, sorry, Mane were able to uh, evade him, and uh, I believe like Clyde was one of his defender, and uh, Mane just uh, evaded, got around them, and it's where it was scored the, the, the opening goal in the uh, 26 minute, man. So it was just crazy. He was just poor overall. And uh, he hasn't been the same, man. I, I, ever since that long term injury, he has not been the same. And uh, yeah, by Munich, yo, there was a poor overall. I can't, I can't point out one good play for by Munich, man. Not one good performance. Probably my Hummels, man. That's about it, man. Like, uh, and probably Martinez in midfield. That's about it, man. None of these guys really perform. And the guys that came off the bench just didn't really perform, man. It was just poor all around. And I just think they pretty much underestimate uh, Liverpool or something because it was at home or something. Even when they're – even Lewandowski, man. What happened to Lewandowski? He had, that, he had one good opportunity, man. Pretty much got around Hallison, and he couldn't get to the ball, man. Um, if you see the Trent Arnold, uh, Alexander Arnold, man, he did a crazy run to caught up to him and shield him off the ball, which is crazy. Yo, Alex, Alex, uh, um, Alexandre Arnold is a, he's fast as hell, man. He's a very good player. Uh, but yeah, man, good win for Liverpool. All playing and possession wise, they did not have most of the possession. No, that was by immediate. Um, but uh, they were able to be very good on the counter attack. Uh, midfield wise, Liverpool definitely got to work on your midfield, man. Right now, for mid for Liverpool throughout the season, it has been your defense, goalkeeper, and attacking players, man. Their midfield is very poor. Other than Milner from time to time, the thing, you know, Anderson, Anderson, I don't care what nobody says, man. Jordan Anderson is trash. I don't care what nobody says. He's not good. Uh, he's not good, bro. He's just not good. I don't care what nobody says. Like, I've never seen this guy put in like a, a man of the match um, uh, performance ever. Other than that one time he scored like a crazy free kick, I believe that was last year versus Chelsea, one of those teams. That's about it, man. But um, it, it is trash, man. I think he got hurt, man. I, I believe, uh, what's his name? Uh, Fabino eventually uh, replaced him. Uh, but yeah, hopefully get better soon because Liverpool might need him. He's better at defensive midfield, like how uh, England play him right above the. Um, Right, Liverpool, pretty much when he played for England during the World Cup, he played in the middle between the midfielders and the uh, uh, center back in that defensive midfield role. Probably better that, better right there. But when it comes to creativity and all that stuff, that's not Henderson. <laughs> it, that's not Henderson. He, he, he can't do that stuff. Uh, but yeah, my, my name, man, and my name, man. Man after match, man. He's a baller. He deserves to wear the number 10. Great performance by him. Scoring the first goal in the 26th minute with uh, Van Dyke passing the ball. Uh, got got like um like on top of the 18 and um Neuer Neuer pretty much ran, ran out and uh, he were able to evade him. I believe Neuer got like uh tangled up with one of his defender and he, the goal was wide open. He just shoot that goal and scored an opening goal. 
Uh, the second goal was an own goal by my boy, my tip man, the former Schalke player. Uh, he did uh, probably a lucky man. He was doing some hard tackles from time to time. Him and uh, Fabino, they both got yellow card, man. But it was going to going in on some hard tackles. Uh, but my tip man, uh, pretty much, I'm not sure who's the player that crossed the bar um, into the box. And he was trying to um, block it or kick it away in front of goal. But um, poor touch by him and the ball just went in. And the uh, um, equalizer, uh, own goal equalizer for Bayern Munich. Even then, Bayern Munich wasn't even looking threatened, man. It was not looking threatened like our Liverpool attack. It was taking some shots, though, but uh, Liverpool players was intercepting them when they were doing um, passes, like in the final third, intercepting the pass. Some good tackles by Robertson, uh, Van Dijk, and Matip, uh, Alex and Arnold. They, those guys was very good overall. And uh, yeah, man. So the the the, um, the second goal, twenty uh, third nine minutes. So the first half ended in a one one draw. Uh, Liverpool were able to get their second goal, the leading goal in the, I believe the sixty nine minutes or so. With um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure who passed it. Passed the ball inside. I'm not sure who did a corner kick. I believe it was uh, James Miller. James Miller did a corner kick, and Van Dyke pretty much rose up, rose up over everybody, man. He's a, he's a tall guy, man. He's like a damn tree, so he does jump top uh, and sit the ball in the back, back of the net, man. Two one Liverpool, and Liverpool play. They start playing with confidence, They're going forward more. Uh, Marvin Salah got more involved in the game because pretty much it was quiet throughout the game, man. It was very quiet throughout the game. He had one or two good shots, a uh, few direct uh, shots straight to the goal, uh, goalkeeper Neuer, uh, but he was not too threatening. But he were able to get an assist in the 81st minute with a, a, a lob pass inside the box. And number 10, man, match to match. Uh, Mane were able to be right there. And, uh, I believe, I think it was like unmarked and stuff like that inside the box. Rose up, uh, headed towards home, and scored a second goal, man. So two headed by Liverpool to really win that game, man. So good win for Liverpool. I'm not sure who they're going to play next, but I could see them going to the semifinals or even the finals. But... I don't think they're going to win the finals, but uh, who knows, man. But four Premier League teams left in the tournament. That's just ridiculous. Four Premier League. You got to give Premier League a lot of credit. I know like a lot of people don't really rate Premier League like that, but you got to give them a lot of credit. Um, they've been winning all their games, dominating the game, man. Chelsea, I mean, uh, City versus uh, Schalke 04, man. 10-2 aggregate. That's just insane. That is just bananas, man. Beating them at home, beating Schalke at home 7-0. City beat, I mean, United beating PSG. Tottenham running over um, Dortmund, who was leading in the Bundesliga 